I'd like to call the September 8, 2011 Conservation Commission meeting to order at 7.10. Uh, first item on the agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next up is roll call, and if we could start with you, Fred, and we'll just work our way around the table. Okay, Craig Pearson, present. Jeff Goldoff, present. Drew Keyfaber, present. Respect of present. Stephanie Coster, present. And Jessica Basie, present. And for this evening's meeting, um, since we have a member who is not here, uh, I'd like to not, uh, appoint Jessica to be a voting member for our meeting this evening for September 8th, 2011. Uh, next up is public comments. There's no one from the public at our meeting this evening, so we won't have any public comments. Uh, next item on the agenda is the approval of minutes from our August 11th meeting. Jessica, thank you very much for drafting these. Uh, I know it's a lot of effort. Um, does anyone have any uh, corrections to the minutes? I haven't really had a chance to go through this thoroughly. I don't know if everyone else has. Okay. I, I'll be honest, I would feel awkward to vote on Just voting yes. <laughs> My inclination would be to vote yes, but I think maybe I should do some homework. Yes, please do. Now, in the past, we received these ahead of time, possibly a week ahead of time. And it made it a lot easier to. Uh, review and check your own notes against it instead of doing that five minutes before the meeting. Uh, I'd like to see that reignite, uh, restart it, to go back that way. Oh, I would too. I, I um, thought maybe it was just something. I don't, I don't know if, so. if it's just missing <clears throat> Kathy's radar or what. Uh, but, uh, and so, you, the, so you'd like the mailed out? I would like the mailed out. Um, I agree. And it really doesn't take up any more paper for having to mail them out as it does for us to print them out at home. Uh, it just changes the cost of the paper to the town instead of individuals that are volunteering here. So that's my thought. So I'll just stick that up there. Well, I agree. And maybe we could put a caveat on it that we would receive them one week before the meeting, a minimum of one week. You know, for example, I just got back into that's town. I wouldn't have had a chance to read them anyway if they'd sure. they been there. And, uh, I would like to note that Jessica did send them out. Yeah, they, they video, so we should have did send us an email saying that yeah. by, by March law, apparently they're supposed to be out. Like, they're supposed to be available to the public by 144 hours after the meeting. How many, right. how many days is that? Oh, really? Five. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so many I days. I didn't know that, you know, but. Oh. <clears throat> well, I'm just, <clears throat> I would like to see them mailed out to the members. Uh, it, it, that's, I, I can I can make that request to Kathy. I would I would say, who who would like the mail? Because I'm I'm okay with an email version. But Fred, you'd like a mail. Bruce, you'd like a mail. Yeah. And anyone else? I think um, just because they're not okay. here, you know, haven't been to Bell. And, uh, I know she's tech savvy and Bell. Uh, can't yeah. speak for the new fellow, uh, but I think he should have his mail out until he can sure. Say. I apologize. Who's the new new fellow? Got the name? Uh, Donald Tucker. Donald Tucker. Thank you. Okay. Well, let's. Um, <coughs> given that people would like to have a little more time with the minutes, how about if we uh, delay that to our next meeting? Is that, is that agree. agreeable to everyone? It's agreeable. Yeah. Okay. A motion. Does that need a motion? I don't think that needs a motion. Keep it it's, it's not an expenditure of funds. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, treasurer's report. Okay. Yeah. Um, everybody got their report. It's pretty there because it's the new fiscal year. Um, so there's really not much to show. 
and they, I guess, the town basically restarts every year and they have to close their books. And I don't particularly recall if one year ago this is what it looked like, but <laughs> that was the amount of information on it. I was going to say there, from what I remember, there are a number of outstanding things that we were trying to tr track and make sure that we were accounted for that hadn't been as of the last report. And those, maybe they were cleared, but we have no record of them. Do you know what I mean? Yes. I don't remember what those things are at this moment. But. I don't know if they were actual things missing or if there are things that we didn't understand where they were. There's only one expense that's not on here that should be coming up, and I think yeah. Drew addressed that in his uh, emails. The five thousand dollars. The uh, to the Nature Conservancy. Yeah. What about the yeah. second scholarship? Was that counted for? Uh, from or was there two years ago. Build it. Yeah. This year there was only one, okay. and that one was accounted for. Two years ago, there were two, and only one of them was accounted for. So or only one of them was. Uh, Cashed, or how do you want to say that? So, well, checks were written, huh? That, 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 that is my understanding, yes. Yeah. And so, as you can see, the, the, this report looks exactly like the previous reports. Um, Don Arnell had show, show, ca shown Kathy my note. Uh, Carol, excuse me, my notes. Um, but she, she didn't really understand them, and I didn't get in there until yesterday, actually. I didn't expect to have any reporters. She said it didn't matter anyway, because there's really nothing to show on it. But we went over um, the thoughts of having it look more like a ledger. Mm -hmm. And um, she's very uh, open to that. She's going to make an attempt at creating something like that for next month. Um, and she has this format, so if you don't like it, they always go back. And, um, but there will be. Um, two separate ledgers. There'll be one for the Shanda Fund, one for the Conservation Commission Fund, which is what she calls the Conservation Maintenance Fund, is the Conservation Commission Fund. So that there's no, we only have two real accounts. It's the Conservation, it's the Richard Shanda Fund and the Conservation Commission Fund mm -hmm. that they she kind of she kind of calls it like where it says conservation maintenance fund on the second page. She's referring to it's conservation commission fund. It's, there's no different, there's no separate money. Right. That's 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 where it is. And then there's the then we'll get this the year to date spend expenditures from the general fund, which is separate money that's budgeted to the conservation commission and the town budget. So that's a thousand and seventy dollars. Yes. To start the year with right. for postages. Yep. Exactly. So currently we have a thousand and seventy dollars and we left however much on the table from last year unused. Does that just roll back into the, the general fund? Yes. It does. We don't get to do that. And so all these the, the different amounts that you see on here typically they're they're transfers back and forth between the general fund and the conservation commission fund to cover expenses because mm -hmm. um, they don't write checks necessarily out of the conservation commission fund they write them out of the general fund so I'm going to put and move them in over to cover them okay so that's kind of the way the, the reason it kind of looks like this and it, it might be confusing to us because I didn't really understand that before so that's kind of where it's coming from so when you add up some of these numbers on the second page you can Wait them to numbers on the first page. If you paid so much in salaries, and they don't do it all that you know to match. They might not move three hundred and fifty dollars to pay a specific one. They might they do it. Well, I forget what she said. If it's once a once a month to cover our bills, so that's kind of why you can't say here this three hundred dollars is on this page and that's on this page. So so that's kind of why that's the way it is. As far as um, we had talked before about getting um, the names of where deposits have come from in the ledger. 
that is more difficult for her to do because she doesn't actually see the check. She doesn't handle the deposits. The deposits are handled by someone else, and they kind of bring down a bunch, and they just get the back. So the town deposited ten thousand dollars. So she might she doesn't know specifically who, who you know who it was, who wrote the check. To so us. in other words, if I were to give her a check for uh, say half a dozen rain barrels or whatever, yeah, that's what she would know about that. Exactly, she would know about that. <coughs> She, I think she would see the revenue, but not know um, where it came from specifically. She said that I could tell her each month when I, if I went in to get these from her, or we could maybe leave her a note and tell her. There, there are ways to get her the information, but for her to, to get the information is quite difficult. And it's obviously easiest for us because we have a check in hand and we know where it came from, or we kind of just track it in ourselves. But it's all available, it's all a spreadsheet, um, Excel spreadsheet, and she's willing to, to give it to me if we want to add stuff to it on her own. Because, um, you know, I, I also pointed out, uh, well, I was just discussing the budget and how this was working. And because um, we don't really seem to track allocations of money that hasn't been spent yet, like the allocated, you know. I mean, we all kind of know, but we don't show it to be expended. <laughs> So if you write a check, usually you take it out. Uh, at least so we're aware. So that would be something, be something that we <coughs> obviously have to kind of keep track of somehow. But uh. is that something that the, the current treasurer could just, you know, like create another spreadsheet? So even if it doesn't, it's not all of the information about you know, other details that are maybe missing from here, but just things that we put a lot of money for, like a running, yeah, a running list. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty easy. I only know the whole thing. Yeah. Currently. Currently. It's just the two hundred and fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, which one was that? The one with the shame for the price. And the five thousand for the Right. Yes. And it doesn't look like the plan things are going to be done now, so we have to won't happen this year. It still stays though, right? Because of the motion. I was making a motion to scratch it. Mm -hmm. We made a motion to yeah. allow the expenditure. I can't remember exactly what we said, but I mean, I don't know how we're going to do it. Uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, Thank you. Thank you. So, um, as far as writing, we go in and we say we need to do a check request. Uh, you guys might already be aware of this. I don't mean to be redundant if you already know, but there's the bud budget account number to be charged, mm -hmm. where um, she just wanted to make sure that we understood that we could we could write in there any of these general funds you know that we feel is most applicable, um, like contracted services could be. Or a sign, or pretty much anything. Mm -hmm. It's a contracted service, yeah. And then you know, obviously, the others are a little more set as to what they are. But she just went, you know, basically, she was pointing out the fact that we had left money in that fund and spent money out of other funds where we could have just spent this mm -hmm. this money. Oh, okay. Um, and the way to you know the way to do that is just rate rate on this. This is the form I guess that's submitted. Request a check. That looks familiar. Yeah, just right on the budget account number to be charged. We can. These are the account numbers that, that are on the on the report under the general fund where we can allocate that or not take it out. So. Okay. That's good to know. Thank you, Jim. Thank you much. Sure. Okay, everyone all set on the treasurer's report? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, committee reports, uh, our planning board and town council representatives are not here, so we'll pass over those. That brings us to the chairman's report. Uh, I have a couple of things there. <coughs> uh, we received some mail uh, recently, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that and some others. 
Uh, first is on Saturday, this coming Saturday, September 10th. The Nature Conservancy is doing some uh, invasive plant control on their Lubberland Creek Preserve, which is on Bay Road, which is where the uh, Nature Conservancy office is on Bay Road. So anyone who is interested in uh, helping out with that, they're looking for volunteers, uh, again, Saturday, September 10th, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And uh, they'll provide snacks, tools, and bug spray. And it's recommended that you wear, for, wear uh, sturdy footwear, bring a water bottle, and bring some uh, you know, good solid leather work gloves if you have them. Uh, and I can pass this around. I think I emailed this to everyone. Did I do that? Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, very good. Um, <clears throat> Next thing is we, we received some mail from the local government center regarding uh, municipal law lecture series, which is a series of lectures that are being held at different uh, locations in the state. Uh, there's one lecture on sign regulations and home occupations, accessory uses, and difficult issues. There's another on preemption of local regulation and a last and third one on land use law updates. Um, I'll pass this around to, uh, to, the, very, to the commission members. And uh, yeah, there wasn't anything in here that jumped out at me and said, we need to attend this or have a representative attend this, but I figured I should mention it. Uh, we also received a copy of um, Great Bay Matters, which is a publication um, from the Great Bay National Estuary Research Reserve. Uh, I get a copy of this at my home, so again, I'll pass this one along. If anyone would uh, like to read it and take it home, they're welcome to do so. It does generally have some informative information in it. I just, uh, for the record, I, I think that's a very good publication. I receive it, and I get a lot of information out of it, so I, I support it. I, I agree with you, Fred. I, I find it worth my time to read and informative. Uh, and last, uh, we received um, a letter and some additional information from the town of Newington. Uh, they are sending this to um, conservation commissions and uh, municipal officials. Uh, I picked this up yesterday. What I'll do is I'll scan it and send out via email to everyone. Uh, in essence, what Newington is doing <coughs> is they sent a letter to the EPA, and this is with regards to nitrogen and uh, nitrogen getting into Great Bay. Um, I'll read just the, uh, the key point of their letter to the uh, U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. Uh, quote, accordingly, the town of Newington urges the EPA to move decisively and in a comprehensive fashion to reduce the volume of all sources of nitrogen that contribute to the impairment of water quality in the Great Bay Estuary, end quote. Um, what they're saying is, they're saying they recognize the need to upgrade wastewater treatment plants, but they also are saying that, hey, given that that's approximately 30% of the nitrogen contribution to Great Bay, we need to do other things as well. And we need to look at stormwater, we need to look at uh, other non-point sources, and the EPA, to the extent that they can, needs to work on those as well as on the wastewater treatment plants. And that seems consistent with things I've heard from, um, from other members of the commission as well, that you know, we, we need to have a more holistic approach to this if we really hope to decrease the amount of nitrogen that's going into the bay. Uh, so I, I thought it was an interesting uh, letter to the EPA and, uh, and letter to the Conservation Commission, and I'm pretty sure that the, uh, uh, you know, other municipal officials in Newmarket have received this as well. So again, I'll, I'll scan this and uh, send it out to everyone. 
Uh, and I believe that's it for uh, Chairman's report. So then next up is uh, old and new business. <clears throat> We've got a bunch of things there. Uh, first, invasive species management at Wigan Farm. Um, well, I should have that written down when that was. Does anyone remember offhand? August 13th. There we go. So on August 13th, um, a bunch of us went out to the Wigan Farm. Uh, we were able to um, do some work kind of in between the, the pond area and moving towards the trails. Uh, that the Boy Scouts had put in that are mowed periodically. We kind of, uh, we worked along the edge of the field close to a stone wall trying to, trying to beat things back to the stone wall, so to speak, so that the, it can be mowed and hopefully the mowing will help keep things down. Um, there was a variety of different invasives <laughs> that we were able to, uh, to remove. <coughs> um, there was a Particularly large. What was that bush that you guys were working on, Jeff? It was a. Uh, it was a barberish. Barberish. Yeah. Yeah. Giant. With the yellow. The barber. Uh, it does bright yellows. Yeah, we can cut it. Yes. <laughs> Who won? Who won? <laughs> did you do the bush? We did. We did pretty much be. Yeah. Who doesn't wash it? There were. Uh, <laughs> there. There are two <laughs> large. <laughs> um, burn piles out there. So uh, sometime when the ground is covered with snow, we'll have to go out and have ourselves a little bonfire and sledding party, and uh, <clears throat> take care of take care of the rest of it. Uh, but I I thought that went pretty well. Uh, it would have been nice if we had been able to make more progress, and I think it would be nice to uh, to try and perhaps get out there again sometime this fall. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, but it would be good to, to keep picking away at it so that we can you know, kind of beat things back That's to good. some level. Yeah. Uh, next item is the... Oh, on that, on yes? That. And maybe just if we can help here. Um, we can that, oh, I'm sorry. Can uh, <clears throat> later in the year when it snows down, can that, does the species be attacked again? Or is it a better time to do it now, later, it, winter? Yeah, it, it depends on the species, actually. I think um, some of them you want to get them before they fruit and the seeds will be spread. Mm -hmm. And you want to get them actually before the fall, or like before the point in the fall when they take all their nutrients back down into their roots, unless you're going to totally uproot them. And then as, it gets, as they drop their leaves, they get hard to seed. Hard to pick oh, out. Hard to pick out. Yeah, so you could do it in the winter, and that'd be great, especially if you're able to uproot them, but they're hard to find. If we were to tag them that's hard to pick well, Yeah, now. that's a great idea, actually. But then if the ground is frozen, it gets out of hard to pick them out as well. Yeah, the ground is really hard to pick them out as well. Yeah. It can be, and it's a lot of the, especially the puff and the one in, in the barber and stuff, and yeah. it's pretty obvious in the winter. Yeah. And it would be a good idea to fly some now, and then with all the rain, it's, the soil is probably pretty good for picking things out. Yeah. And it will continue for a little while until it starts to get any kind of frost. Yeah, it's probably some of the water that we do. I've been out there, so yeah. I'm sure it's a little bit of water. Yeah. And, uh, but we didn't flag, I didn't flag every plant. I tried to flag a fair amount in areas where, and mm -hmm. then you, if you, even in the winter, I'm sure if you, if you saw one of those flag, you'd be able to find the one that's the same, even right. if it doesn't that have a flag. Well, the reason I asked is, you know, uh, like Drew said, need to go up there after the snow flies to do a burn. Mm. Uh, while we're burning, we can you know, attack a few more areas and uh, try to get a little bit more done. That's what I was thinking. That sounds good. Yeah, we potentially. Can't right. We right. can't uproot. We can't uproot. Right. right. It might turn out that you don't get hard frost, you get snow early or something, so the ground is still pliable. Mm. Good point. Right. Keep in mind, I guess. Yeah. Okay, uh, Shanda Park kiosk. Um, we, I need, I still need to order the glass for that. And Bruce, you were gonna start working on uh, trying to make a frame. Yep. Any, any progress there? 
just need sizes. To okay. Why don't I uh, why don't I send you sizes and uh, I'll order the glass and we'll get that done <coughs> so we can get it off the agenda. Okay, Heritage Festival. Uh, the Heritage Festival is coming up. It's on September 24th and 25th. Uh, historically, we have had a, uh, a booth at the Heritage Festival to try and promote the Conservation Commission, and we have had a um, pontoon boat that we use to provide uh, boat tours on the Lamprey River. Um, Bruce, would you like to talk about that a little bit? Sure. There's a few things we need to do for bookkeeping, too. Um, but um, going by the tide charts that I could find online, it looks like we should be able to uh, give rides anywhere from 9.30 to 3 o'clock on Saturday and from 9 to 4 or so in that area on Sunday. Uh, Wim has always helped me with the piloting of the boat, so that's pretty much taken care of. But we do need people to volunteer for the kiosk. And, uh, and in the past, we've done water. Uh, <laughs> I know that the uh, plastic water bottles were a big hit last year. Uh, we went to uh, large containers with cups, correct? Yeah, yep. that to work well. And that, that worked good. So if we could do that, if we get a commitment on that again. Was yeah. Like yeah. Is that yeah, I had at least one of the uh, containers. Yeah, I'd, I'd be happy to have that used again. Okay. And Fred has the tents? I have the tents in storage, and uh, we can have those down to whomever's going to erect those at whatever time you suggest. The one thing I can't help you with is actually putting them up because of my back. So well, yeah, but I mean, <coughs> if we have a good turn turnout, you won't have to. I mean, there's no need to mess up. Oh, you know. But I can make those available to you, whatever. They're, they're, when I say available, they're in the ad in storage, so I just need to get them down to uh, you need help. If you need help with that, get them We're out. all set. <coughs> you sure? And, yeah, and we can get them down there. Um, Pauline's grandson, who's young and strong. Is in the past, Pauline has put together, she's been nice. a big help in the past. <coughs> Pauline, I mean, being not a member of the uh, conservation, she's always been there to uh, pitch in. I'm biased, but I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I would uh, agree. Yeah, I, I'm signage. I know she does a lot of work with the signs. So she, maybe she could put together some boat signs or something. Because the other ones are pretty much worn out. Mm -hmm. so should we use the Yeah, I was going to say, I thought, I thought she made some very nice ones last year that I thought she laminated. Or As I, I recall, again, yeah, I'll, I'll double check. I thought we had some pretty weatherproof ones last year. And if not, I'm sure she'd be willing to make some more. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, I was that was going to be my next thing. <laughs> uh, you know, last last month we talked about the boat trip, the pontoon ride, and I mentioned in the minutes that we did not uh, accept that. Uh, <clears throat> we talked about the cost and hoping it would be what it was last year, and I'm still going on that clue, but we never did. I don't believe that we voted money. Anybody made a motion to expend money. So I would make a motion that we expend up to $500 for Heritage Festival weekend to pay for the incidentals of the boat, the fuel. Uh, I want to pay for water because we're not doing uh, signage and stuff like that, though we may need some extra money. In the past, the boat has come through it quite a bit less than that. Yeah, last year the boat was just over three hundred dollars. Yeah, so you know that gives us a little cushion, and nobody says we have to spend it all. So uh, my motion is to make that funds available. I second the motion. The motion, right? The motion. <laughs> <laughs> it's a song, I guess. I'm just gonna keep if I ran the one and one two. Mm -hmm. so <laughs> uh, any further discussion on that motion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. OK. 
Okay. Um, I, I just might add that we, uh, I'm sorry to meet you. No, I, I think that's all I really had to go with that. And, uh, I know Fred takes the storyboard down if you need help with that. Yeah, that's what I was going to bring up, that uh, we'll make sure the table's there, or tables, I think we have two tables, and uh, then the storyboard itself. Uh, we'll make sure that that's taken out and, and down there. Fred, if you happen to get there before I do, Jan Galloway is in charge of the uh, waterfront. Okay. Out of the, she's like the head person to see. Okay. And I have a phone number for you. Okay, that'd be great. You have it right now. Super. Can I ask Bruce? Um, do how do we? Last year we kind of signed up for different time slots. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a sense of how you want to? It would be nice to have at least two people there. And, uh, maybe we should just. I wish everyone was here tonight so we could get, you know, because uh, Val and, and Wynn always did. But uh, <clears throat> Wynn has always helped with the boat. So, and uh, I like to stay down there with the boat to help people on and off. So, we really need people for the kiosk. I know it's a long weekend. <laughs> it, well, it, I mean, it, it, it becomes long, long, you know, come Sunday afternoon, and you can't wait for it to be over. It's just late weekend long. Um, but we really use, you know, the commitment. Do you want to, I think last year, you, you just emailed us and asked us to tell you when we could be available. Do you want to do that again? Or is there a yeah. better technique you'd like to use? No, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I don't yeah. know it worked I, pretty good. Yeah, I thought maybe Val sent that out. I'm did not you? sure, but yeah, that I, something like that did work pretty well last year. And, that would be good. and, and I know for speaking for myself, I'm out of town that weekend. So, oh wow! I'm, I'm, I'm I'm available on Sunday though. Okay. Well, that, that can work. Um, yeah, I don't know if you want to do. I'll be there both days. So both. And, and you know, and, and like I say, we can win in Val. <clears throat> I'll do it. I'll, I'll probably do it today. Do it today. Okay. Most of that. All right. Good. Last year, I'll do it after this. So the only thing I would need, Bruce, is uh, when you want me to show up or when we want to get the, uh, the tents there. Well, we should get there you know, between 8 and 9 o'clock so it's ready. Oh, you want to do it that morning? Yeah. In the past, you set them up the day before, didn't you? No. I, I already launched the boat the day before. Okay. So we'll be there at 8? Is that? Yeah. 8 o'clock. Okay. And then is the 24th, right? You like Saturday yes. the 24th? Yes, Saturday the 24th. Yes. Okay, will do. I would prefer to do Saturday, if that works. Did you say you had to work Saturday? You already couldn't do Saturday. I'm not waiting on Saturday. Okay, I'll do. I can definitely do Saturday. If I can sign up for it. Oh yeah, I'll put you right now. <laughs> and I'll be there at 8 a.m. on Saturday. Saturday. Is that when it starts for you? It's 8? No, but to get there, to get yeah, things started, I think we yeah. should make a, an early stab at it. Mm -hmm. You know, go that way. Mm -hmm. I agree. So Jessica, you can do Sunday? It is part of it, yeah, I'm not sure. Exactly. Four or something? Five. Five. Um, kind of petered out on Sunday last year. Yeah, yeah. it usually does. And the, the uh, tides weren't as good last year, so I had to get the boat out of there because it's oh, really yeah. difficult to get out if you don't have enough water. <laughs> you know, sometimes you have to wait till the next day because it's yeah. it's just hard to do it. Yeah. And it's really hard to do it with all the people down there too. But I mean, uh, it can be a long drive up to the lake and back. Mm -hmm. I'll be there, you know, both days. Wynn will be there both days. Val, you can hit her up for some, you know, tweets. And Jim, I forget Jim. Since he didn't show up, we'll sign him up. <laughs> That'll teach him not to show up. You know, we've had that method in the past. Yeah, it doesn't always work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that's really the only thing I had to say about it. Thank you. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. I know this last year we did, we had some basics on the pan.
Did anyone express interest in learning about it? It kind of blew around the wind. No, but you did a lot of that, didn't you, Jeff? Yeah, I collected the plans. So there were a couple of people, maybe two, but we didn't get that many users. So, I mean, it's really easy to collect the plans, especially around here. Especially where you from. So, I mean, I, I can do that again. Just be careful transporting them down here. We don't want to spread them, especially in the Because we're not allowed right. to spread them. To transport them. Yeah, <laughs> For educational I, purposes. For uh, educational purposes. Yeah. Okay. We do have zip locks again, maybe, if you did. Yeah, I don't drive down the road with all the branches. Barbary branch coming to see me. That's right. Definitely, um, definitely conscientious about uh, spreading the invasives. After taking time to clean it. Yes, exactly. Well, between that, Fred's, well, Fred's, the storyboard that we have upstairs always gets a lot of kids interested in the different things in the We've back. We've had really, I think, good um, attraction with that. Yeah, yeah. and the plants would be, I think, in a good second. Oh, yeah. yeah. Very much so. Is it a good venue to start talking about things like Yes. That's a great idea. I think it's a really good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Prepare. Yeah. That's what I was. Just, I was going to suggest that, but then I thought about preparing something for that. Let's do like a half sheet. Did you say you're going to be gone for the weekend? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's do that because we can really. <laughs> Maybe she can do some advance work. <laughs> it would be nice to have a little information uh, page. Maybe after. Of things that we can do. Like the day after the heritage fest. But, but, could, could you contact her and see if she would have anything that we yeah. could that we could have, and, you know, and, and either hand out to people or at least make make available. Mm -hmm. You know, if she'd have any educational uh, information, that would be helpful. Okay. Maybe she has a, so suggest if she has a typical poster, mm. and then maybe like a small handout, like something that would attract yeah, attention. Well, I have a poster of the invasive piece. That would be good. Yeah, yeah, we could exhibit that very easily. And uh, you know, a little page of uh, things that we can cut, do ourselves to lower the nitrogen level in the bay mm -hmm. to save the town twenty two million dollar wastewater treatment plant. I think we could probably make that easy. Great idea. Yeah, I think it fit in very nicely. Yeah. I mean that's a big topic right now, it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. Not just New York. I think if they had the post around that, would be. Oh, that'd be great. And then, yeah. That's good. She has just one more. Speaking of education materials, where are we on the brochure? Is that complete? Will it be available? What brochure? <laughs> I thought we were rewriting or had rewritten the brochure about uh, who we are, what we do. Am I mistaken about that? I'm unaware of that. Okay, we'll scratch that. We, we, uh, <laughs> I have dreams we, tonight we, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> we have an existing brochure. <laughs> Do we have enough copies to... A hey, good question. Up? Let's look after the meeting. Okay. I know I know we have some copies in the file cabinets over there. Mm -hmm. So we can look after the meeting. Sounds good. But that would be good to have as well, I agree. All right, are we all set on the Heritage Festival? I think so. Well, the only other thing I would suggest is if we have, did you send out the maps that we had from the trails for, at least for um, Skasik, was that? Uh, I can't remember if you emailed like a PDF of those, I, I did. No, it doesn't exist already on them. Oh, sorry, for Louis L. yeah, yeah. So, I mean, just, yeah, or even if you just email me the PDF, I can print out a few copies of it. And just, I don't know. I went out there the other day and it seemed like people hardly ever use it. And, uh, I don't know. Just to point it out, it's kind of close to town. Yeah, help promote it. Just yeah. to help promote it, just to make people aware because we don't have a lot of trail maps, and that's one that we actually have one for. Because places like this, you know, where we actually have a trail map. 
If you, if you just sent it, I'll print, I'll print some I think he might have sent it to me. Yeah, maybe not for this year, but maybe for next year we can do a <coughs> uh, side trip during Heritage Festival to Lloyd's Island property with a bunch of people that might want to take a hike through. For That's a good idea. I, I don't think we have time to set something up like that with limited people that we can have. But Actually, Stephanie, I'm going to correct what I suggested before I can say that the map that we put to put on the kiosk might be a better. Yes, yeah, so people know where all the different properties are. And it says if there's a hiking trail there, right? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be great. Yeah. Is that one on a format where I can print it out on like an 11 by 17 or an 8.5 by 11? Yeah. It's very big, but I think it would be smaller, yes. Is it, I mean, can I open it? Can, can you convert it to a PDF and I can print it on any size piece of paper? That'd be great. I can't write it. Sorry. <laughs> take, a deep breath. Really? Right. take a so deep now, breath. Because I, I, I know, I know, I'm just, but I, when I think back, I, I'm almost positive. But I know I have that other one. Sorry. <clears throat> and we should have the kiosk panel up by then, so we can be able to point it back to. Okay, so I'll, I'll get working on it. I'll, I'll send you the measurements tonight. Okay. Are we all set on Heritage Festival? All right. Uh, next up is the uh, Nature Conservancy Wetlands Permit Application for 14 Bayview Drive. Uh, we received this uh, just prior to our last meeting and a small technical review committee looked it over shortly after our last meeting. Um, can someone who was a part of that speak to it briefly? Well, I, I guess I should say what the application is for is uh, the Nature Conservancy has acquired a piece of property that has a small seasonal home on it and a, um, uh, an outbuilding next to it. And what they're proposing to do is take the buildings down and have the property open for uh, for public access. Would you like to speak to that or would you like me to? <laughs> um, I can speak first and then you can... Sounds good. Um, we reviewed the application. Um, the Technical Review Committee um, reviewed the application. That was myself and Val Shelton and Fred, Fred Pearson. <laughs> no, no, I know that. I'm <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. But, uh, yeah, we, we, we did read that. We reviewed it and we felt that it didn't pose any impact that would be you know, questionable. So we, we, we did um, support it on that part that uh, kind of saw it as taking, you know, all they're doing is taking the structure and, and removing it. Um, so they're not going to be, there's not going to be any impact really close up to the bay. There's not a bunch of vegetation that's kind of surrounded by a lawn. They're going to remove a shed as well as the house, I believe. And I think the shed is on, it's just sitting there on the ground. So that's not, um, that's not going to. Is, it a, much is it a full fledged house or is it just a it is. shack? Yeah. No. No, it's, got, it, uh, it's a small. It's a house. I've been in it yeah, it's a small uh, house. bunch of times. And is this the shed? And this is the, the outbuilding. How, um, how far is it from the The shed is probably 20 feet at the most. The house, I would guess, would be 100 feet, would you say? Somewhere like 40. That, to, I, I'd agree with that. To the top of the bank, maybe. Mm -hmm. Or maybe, maybe a little more, but a lot more. And you're yeah. going to have siltation. Sulfur and stuff, yeah. And they're taking all material off site. Typically, they use heavy equipment to take care of this yeah. whole thing. I would think so. But they're going to access it from behind the siltation barrier, I guess. With yeah. Heavy equipment and everything. Yeah. There's a there's a, there's a, um, a road right in front of it. Mm -hmm. um, not on the water side. On the mm -hmm. upland side of the, of the house is a road. There's actually a road that's on two sides, mm -hmm. and so they can access it from either side. Okay. 
they never actually have to get, they shouldn't have to get closer to the water than, you know, whatever, 10 feet from the house, I wouldn't think. Um, and then they just kind of seed it with grass seed afterwards? So. They use, typically use a special mix, actually, from the past. So, in answer to the question of how far is it from the mean high water mark to the closest point of the house is a little less than 50 feet. Right on. And then the, the back side of the house is uh, 75 to 80 feet from the mean high water mark. And the shed is about 75 feet from the water. It looks like there's, I mean, I, I didn't even remember it was a month ago, um, but the silt fence is quite close to their area, to the house. Mm -hmm. So it looks like the area of service doesn't get any closer than 40, 40, 35 yeah. or 40 feet from the high water. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one. Do they, um, since you were in the do they do a Bestest of the um, classifications there. They check the house for asbestos and other hazardous materials. I mean, when you say they, do you mean Nature Conservancy? Yeah, or? I mean they, they're I'd hiring somebody to tear that building down. Yeah, I'm I sure they're not going to do that. Though, uh, I would think they probably uh, do that. Is it, yes. is it noted in there that those will be removed before they start thrashing? I didn't see anything, did you? Not that I noticed if there's a hazardous materials and maybe a plan or something like that. I, like to know. I believe those houses were done in the early 80s, late 70s, early 80s. Probably late 70s. Which which still, had, well. still had quite a bit of asbestos in the building materials at that time. You know, actually I can get closer to that. I recall going down there about 1973, first time. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's just the point that if you get it airborne. Yeah. Good point. Um, I know we have to jump through a lot of hoops demolishing some buildings, so. I wonder, you know, if it's something that would come through the building inspector or something like that from it. Maybe we should just bring that up. I mean, give yeah. it the okay tonight, because without putting them off any longer, but with the condition that mm -hmm. that be checked. Right. would be my, uh, my thought on that. That's a good idea. When it's so close to the water, a good gust of wind is going to would take, because it gets pretty dusty when it's done. So I was thinking, I'm not sure if that's within shoreland protection. Probably not, but there's other, there's other laws that cover Right, right. Yeah. That's, you know, the not, PVC not, pipe not, in I, I guess all I'm trying to say is it's not necessarily under covered this in this application. Yeah. Under this yeah. application. You know, you get the PVC piping, you get the asbestos in the roofing, flooring, some pipe insulations. It's something that should be checked before. I agree. They start there now. As far as I know, all the piping, most of the piping is PVC because I remember seeing it installed. Yeah. And I think that's safe enough until, you, unless you burn it, and then it's going to off gas a lot. But uh, the roofing material, flooring material, some siding material, and some insulations. I think that should be a condition. All right. Well, why don't I uh, why don't I draft a quick note to DES and uh, route that around via email and then we'll ship it off to them. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Uh, it would probably be good to have a motion that says that uh, we have no objection to the demolition of the house. Yeah, I think or, it or to, be, the, to the permanent application. I think it should be official. I agree. Sure. I think the previous one right next to it, we didn't make any recommendations. Because we did the probably other one. Probably not. We probably overlooked it. Maybe uh, I don't think we were asked for it. I think we did one of these. The, 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 the gray house that was just beyond. So. I remember the house, yeah. I, I don't remember. Really 
All right, so. Was, uh, on the chair at the time, and we just filled up that. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of times things just bypass, you know, think so. Looking back, maybe it should have been addressed. It hadn't been, so maybe we should be a little bit more exacting about it today. Okay. So I will make a motion that the Conservation Commission will send a letter to DES saying that we have uh, no objections to the standard dredge and fill application for demolition of a home at 14 Bayview Drive. With Bruce's. With, uh, yeah, yeah, with, with a noted concern regarding uh, asbestos in the building materials. I'll second that. Any other discussion of the motion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you. All right, next item on the agenda is the nitrogen information meeting. Uh, the biggest thing here is, uh, one, I wanted to say thank you again to Jessica for helping to coordinate and organize that. And that meeting is on Monday, September 26th at 7 p.m. And uh, I know I, for one, <coughs> am planning to attend, and I hope other Conservation Commission members will be able to attend, and we're hoping that the uh, uh, town council members will also be able to attend. Well, I did see uh, it's here at the town hall, yep. town hall. I, I, and I believe it's, it's down here in the auditorium. Right? It's not by us. As it's being sponsored by us, should we put out a coffee? The people coming? Have, have we historically? I mean, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Is it worth an idea or what? That always makes things nicer, but <laughs> <laughs> this is true. A little cookie time. Little I don't know about cookies, <laughs> but I'll, you know. It will be in the evening, though, so I'm not sure if people will want caffeine. It will be one thing to consider. We could have decaf and caffeine. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> if we can afford both. It's a thought. I, I, I'm putting it out there to think what I'll, you know, to see what I'll be. But like you say, it makes it nicer. Yeah. I would support it. I don't feel strongly one way or the other. I don't, I don't much care. I'm kind of, I'm kind I don't of drink like coffee, so I don't, it doesn't mean anything to me. I have no objection to it. I don't drink. I wonder how many people outside of us and perhaps some of the uh, people that are in the town council members are going to come. Did you put it on 2015? Yes. Yeah. You know, you're we thinking about the invasive lecture right. where she actually was only a dozen of us. And there was, yeah, there was just a couple of people from the home that came. But more people show up because they may have, there's more, there's a monetary well, there's incentive to possibly involved. You know, when you're thinking of a $20 million upgrade to this waste treatment plant, that would usually gets people's attention. As long as people can equate the two. So this is, you know, if, you know, if a lot of people in town don't really know that there's $20 million that we might need to spend on a wastewater treatment facility, they might not equate it to going to the nitrogen talk. Yeah. And since I didn't, I don't really know exactly what she's going to talk about, especially specific to New Park, and I didn't have her, the, the advertisement on Channel 13, so I didn't make that connection explicitly. Mm -hmm. But when we talk to people or whatever, that can be. But about the coffee and the good idea, that it'd be hard to plan, perhaps. Perhaps. So I'm not sure. What do you think? Mm -hmm. If we did it, how many people would you for? Probably two dozen tops. Well, I think that would probably be, if we had that many, I think it would be a good turnout. Does the town have one of those big crack things you can make coffee in? Because that would be. I don't know. We can check. If, uh, I'll, I'll look into it. How's that? Sounds good. my idea. Good. I'll look into it. Could, is it possible to get the town council to announce the meeting or that the presentation at their a couple of their meetings? Was a request that because I assume their meetings are more widely watched 
in the ten minutes. Another one why they attended. That's an excellent mm -hmm. idea, and I, I don't sure. see why it couldn't be done, huh, Drew? Yeah. I yeah. will uh, I'll, I'll contact Jim Berger and I'll ask him to do that. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that gives you some, some good coverage. September 26th or 7 o'clock. Yes. I give them three, uh, three chances to mention it. Do they need a group? <laughs> Uh, no, I'd rather be. Because it was two. Uh, especially. Uh, if you had a flyer, we could put. Mm -hmm. At the Heritage Festival. That would be a good idea. Yeah, yeah that would be good. We'll hang it on the front of the table. And, uh, yeah. A lot of people will see it, and we can uh, kind of push it. Okay. Good idea. If we had a couple, I'll put them out on the road, too. Okay. And I'll make sure that Joe brings that up. As he talks about the things. Yeah, that's good. Good connection. Especially when you go right by the reception plant, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, exactly. so here's something to think about. Uh, the oyster beds. The new yeah, fresh the new ones. Oh, that's right. So you guys. Okay. Uh, this one was not on the agenda, but it should have been. And that is uh, stewardship monitoring of the Piscassic River Moselle property. We've talked about that a little bit uh, at our last meeting, and I forgot to put it on the agenda before I mailed out the agenda. <clears throat> but uh, I, yeah, I'd, I'd like to try and schedule that perhaps in early October. See that again. So stewardship monitoring of the Piscassic River Loisel property. Now I'm going to propose Sunday, October 9th. On the end it sounds like I could do that. That's not the long weekend, right? Oh, that's a good question. It is. Okay. You? What's that? <laughs> that means it's probably not the best weekend. <laughs> Columbus Day weekend? Yeah, that's Columbus Day weekend. So let's not do that one. How about the next one, the 16th? <coughs> Sunday as well. Yeah, that's a Sunday. Well. Sunday. So is Sunday okay for people? Yeah. Well, let's, yeah, let's tentatively say Sunday the 16th uh, is 1 o'clock, all right? That should work. And obviously that's a, you know, join us if you desire. We certainly don't need everyone. It's a, it's a pretty easy walk around the property. And, um, there are historically minimal uh, encroachment areas there. So. But it is a beautiful property for anyone who hasn't been out on it yet. And then the uh, the others will continue to schedule throughout the fall as we as we meet. Uh, on the, that property, is there any opposition to myself doing uh, minor trail maintenance out there on random basis? No chainsaw involved. Clipping. Clipping. Go to it. I would welcome that. I would, yeah, I would, I would uh, welcome that. Yeah. Last time I thought I was going to bring the clippers in. Next time I go, I'm going to bring clippers and clean up the yeah. thicker places. There's a lot of small trees. Things growing in. Stuff you can just step over them without it being clipped. It almost obscures the trail in places. Yeah. You could use a half hour of chainsaw over to um, the file cabinet, the conservation file cabinets after our last meeting. And correct me if I get this wrong, Jeff, but we found the management plan. Um, we found some uh, layouts that 
pretty clearly indicate where the buffer zones are around the wetlands. So it's ideally a matter of just going out and locating points and it, it could pretty well, in an ideal world we could pretty easily locate the restricted area. As long as the, things, the markers are still there. As long as the markers are still there. Which are supposed to be carcinate markers, which are carcinate, I guess. I don't know if it's, it's like a fiberglass mixed with something else. It's carcinate. But they're usually about four feet tall after the German mm -hmm. You might see them next to a survey marker on the side of the road. They're those flexible orange things that are four inches wide and an eighth of an inch thick to yeah. a quarter of an inch thick. Oh, okay, yeah. sure. If you ran one over, it just split there. Like you see on like a, the rail trail. Right? Yeah, on the rail trail, there's a there's a bunch of them down there. Yeah. Yeah. Or several. Right Road you bike through? New fields. I'll tell you later. Just a Manchester from Rockland. I knew there was one, but I didn't know this was that. Oh, it's a great place. No, it's a good thing. So for that, we want to do that before we monitor. And then we wanted to check with the, the owners to make sure that we had a good time, a yes. good time to schedule. I would think would Bell would be the contact to say now is a good time to go out there and look for those if it's not going to be at the same time as the monitor. Which I guess presumably it should be done before it so that you don't go out there intending to monitor with four or five people and you can't do it because right. you don't know where the limits are. But they, the, the markers sh are or the period at the edges of the field, not back in the woods. So hopefully they're pretty easy to find. They should be able to look right between them. They might be 600 or 800 feet apart, but if you put one person on I know we, we, when Dal and I did that last year, they just didn't stick out. Maybe it was because of the growth at the time. Yeah, I mean, if there's right. still yeah. a little bit of thing. Well, yeah, I'm mean, I thinking that's what it was, but Dal could has a much better memory than myself. So. I think I actually set some of those and I did a little bit of GPS maybe even. So I have a handheld, but they're tough to find and you can just look in the other gate to it. Um, should still be there. Do you have them? Would yeah. they be noted on a plane uh, with coordinates? They're not noted with coordinates, but um, I can get the coordinates. Oh, because I've got a, I should be good. I got a long yeah, GPS thing. Pretty good that way. And uh, they're not really tied to much either. It's hard. It, hopefully they're there in place. <laughs> That's that would be ideal. ideal. That would be ideal. <laughs> <laughs> that would be ideal. <laughs> and if they're not, we should probably have something put in. If or, not, or should something be. should be put in. Yeah. I would think. <laughs> They're very different. There weren't a lot of them. So right. Six or eight of them or something around the entire quite large area. Probably to limit the number of those visual obstructions, maybe. Sure. Maybe. Yeah. So should I maybe try to maybe send Val an email to see? Yeah. If you yeah. If you don't mind, why don't you contact Val? Make sure she knows what we found down here. And ask her if there's any time we can get together with the property owners and try and locate those markers. Then, after we have them located, we can schedule a, a stewardship visit. Sounds good. Great. Thank you, Jeff. All right. That's all I had for new and old business. Does anyone else have anything else under new old business? This keeps coming up pretty much every time, but that's what we're going to be in. Um, and I, I should have it earlier with budget, but this change of use tax is still uh, yeah. nothing? I mean, like, should we be worried about this? That, that, that was going to look into that, and that's definitely not the folks I was talking to. They made that strong. It goes through another department before they ever hear about it. So. I don't think that Ed would be the one to check with. I believe that was good. Yeah, so why, why don't I, I'll check with Val, and uh, then one of us will get in touch with the uh, town they administrator. They're, they're getting ready to put asphalt down now. Talking about the, the one crossing across? Yeah. And the 
forgive me for not knowing the exact name of it. Myers. Myers, Myers right. and Crosby, but I mean the project name I'm not sure about anymore. Um, so yeah, I would think. I know there was a question on what makes what crosses that threshold. And I thought Val was going to find out from the plan. So. Yes. I know I don't know. I, I don't. <laughs> Sorry to say, I don't know. I feel like I should know. <laughs> but I don't know. It's all right. He will know. It's all right. I think it was a lot of to know. Okay, anything else on uh, older new business? Hearing none, I'll enter. T uh, well, actually, before I do that, let's uh, take a quick look ahead. Our next meeting will be, yes, Thursday, October 13th at 7 o'clock. So, with that in mind, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion that we adjourn at uh, 8.20. I'll second that motion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you one and all. all right. Thank you.